let me show you how I transform this afro into these really cute braids that will last for at least a week. Stay tuned for the hair tutorial. Okay, so here are all the products that I use. Um, brushes, the comb, shine and jam, Rucker Roots custard, and mousse from Rucker Roots as well. It gives the best hold. And these hair clips to hold the hair, and I'll list them all in this video. So Cami's hair is clean, and I actually have a video for that. I will link it once it's ready. So to start off, I make a half a circle at the top of her head, and that'll uh, leave room for the two braids that's going down towards her eyes. And now when you're braiding towards eyes, try to go on the sides of the face so it's not so the braids aren't directly over their eyes. And here's the thing about parting. Parting is critical when you're braiding because the neater the part, I mean the straighter the part, the neater the look. So I always use the end of the comb to part and then go back over it. It makes it so much easier. And here comes the custard. So I use this custard on her hair, especially when I'm doing dry looks. It works so well. It's actually by a company owned um, by two sisters in Charlotte that I love. Then we go ahead and use the shine and jam and that really helps with the shine for the hair and it makes it so much easier to braid. Because her hair is really curly and it's not blown out straight, I use a brush just to help straighten the hair and stretch it just so I can get a very neat look. When you're braiding, try and start at the very beginning of the braid. Try not to leave any space or leave too much hair out. I don't really do baby hair. I try and braid it all up. But I also, when I braid, I don't pull too tight. As you can see, like her scalp isn't turning red. Um, she's not in pain. So I pull the hair in, but I'm not pulling very tightly because I mean, she's still a toddler and I want her to keep her hair. I'm sure you've seen women or kids that have braids and they get those little bubbles on their scalp. That means the hair is being pulled too tightly. The hair should never be pulled that tightly. And that's why the Shine and Jam works so well is because it helps um, for a sleek look, but it brings the hair in without you having to pull so hard. You do not want your child to lose their hair Follicles. Because we're pulling the hair to the side, I want it to look a collective look, so I start with braids going down her edges. And you'll see, as I'm braiding, it's gonna be like a collective look where it all just kinda swoops over. The thing about braiding your child's hair yourself is you have to make sure they're distracted. So a lot of the times I'll have snacks for Cami, I'll have her favorite show on, or her iPad, or both just to keep her distracted because, I mean, she has to sit there for a while because these braids take a while, but you have to detangle and put the product and all that. So just make sure that they're uh, distracted, that they're, you don't do it right before they eat. You don't do it while they're about to, like when they're tired or need a nap. You do it, like for me, I do it after her nap. She's had lunch, she's happy, and she has her snacks. So that way she sits comfortably. Even though it's time consuming, it's, she's still comfortable. I decided to do one part or one braid towards the back just to make sure, just to see what it would look like and just make sure I have my swoop that I'm going for. It also helps me with measuring how many parts I actually have available to do or how many braids I have available to do. So I just did one to see what I would see what it would look like and I really liked it. <laughs> Next I'm heading back to the top of the hair to start the little swoop and that gives like the effect that I'm looking for. So I'm starting on her edges and be very, like I said before, be very mindful of the edges um, when you're not pulling so hard because you don't want their edges to break, especially for my daughter. Her edges are the softest hair that she has. So I try my best to not pull too tight. And also when you're braiding, a lot of times as I get to the center of her hair where it's the thickest, I get more tangles and you can either add more product for me, adding border doesn't help, but adding more of the custard cream helps with detangling. And as you can see, even when I'm, you see her hair is getting really tangled here. Even as I'm pulling apart, I'm doing it very gently. See, she doesn't even flinch. If anything, she she just winked. <laughs> she doesn't flinch. And not that she's used to or it's because, oh, she's not tender headed. It's just because I am very gentle. I try and do it as if I'm doing my own hair. How do I treat myself? And that's how I treat her. So when you're doing your baby's hair, it should be a pleasant experience. It shouldn't be painful. They may not always want to sit there and have their hair done, but at least make it where it's a pleasant experience for them. And I've tried my best because I've been doing her hair to do that. And people always say, how did you help? What did you do to help your baby's hair grow? What did you, all this stuff. We, I have a lot of hair. My husband has a lot of hair. She just naturally has a lot of hair, but 
the braids really help with keeping her hair moisturized, keep it from tank being tangled, and keeping our hands out of it. So braids really play a big part. And one thing, if you haven't noticed, is we don't use any oil in our hair. We don't use any detangler in our hair. It's mainly because we use really good products. And I wash our hair once a week. And I think us, me washing our hair once a week and using very hydrating products is keeping me from having to use a detangler. And it's also keeping me from having to use a oil to keep our hair moist. Oh, my poor fingers. <laughs> it's always like the last braids. Like, oh my God, will I ever finish? But I'm on my last braid, and literally she's not even holding it because it hurts. She's just putting her finger in her hair. But yeah, we're on our last braid, yay! And it looks so cute. I love it so, so much. Now to decorate this look, you can put beads on the end of the hair. We don't really use beads, but she really loves these butterfly clips. I'll link it for you, but put butterfly clips all in the hair, along the front, and it looks so, so cute. But beads will be really cute too in the ponytail and on the front, so if you're a bead person, use that. So I almost forgot, we had to put the mousse on there, and by then she was completely done with me. So I put the mousse on there. This is the best mousse I've ever used. It is so good, and it's super moisturizing. And then when you're done, you have to blow dry it. I put it on like medium high heat for as long as she can take it. And this is the final look. Like, come on. That is so cute. I try my best to do age appropriate styles and this is one of them. So now this is five days later and this is what her hair looks like. I just want to show y'all that this hairstyle will last. Now I didn't really add much product to it and she wears a bonnet at night, uh, but not like she should. So. All you have to do to protect the style is um, apply more product every two to three days if you want and put your child on a bonnet or a do-rag at night and it'll last. And for this to be day six or five, I believe, it still looks really good. Just add the product back, um, put the mousse back on there, and if you want to blow dry it again, you can, but I think it still looks really, really good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a few things. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And again, like and subscribe for more.